This $500 snowmobile was abandoned for 10 years. After sitting for so long, this thing would no longer start, so I went ahead and got it jacked up and pulled out of my shop where we got to see the condition of this snowmobile for the first time. Before I can get into figuring out why this snowmobile isn't running, I need to get my pressure washer out and start washing off the years of grime that I built up on this so I have a clean slate to see exactly what needs to be fixed. After pressure washing, there's still some grime left over, so I'll get some soap and start scrubbing down the front of the sled with a scrub brush before I go ahead and get it rinsed off. The rest of the snowmobile is then scrubbed down with a scrub brush and rinsed off as well, which gives us a first look of just how good condition this snowmobile is in. With the sled washed down, we can move on to trying to figure out why this thing will not start at all. After undoing the hood latches and getting this thing lifted up, I ended up finding out that the spark plugs are finger tight and that I can loosen them with my one hand. Hoping for an easy fix here, I get a plug wrench and go ahead and snug both of these plugs down back into the cylinder heads and then I go and put the plug wires back on top. And after a couple pulls, it's very clear that this was not the problem, which means I have a lot more work to do until I can get this thing running, which makes sense considering...